Do I vet my guests? The quick answer is no, I don't, because it's just not worth the hassle or the time commitment to go through the process. Plus, I work in corporate America. I know all about checking my biases. I'm not trying to uh, take a look at somebody's profile and think, you know what? They look just a little too poor to spend a night at my place. No thanks, I'm not messing with that. So I use the host feature called Instant Booking. And if you don't know what that is, there is the ability to auto accept any reservation request that you get, provided that those dates are open. And that's the feature I use because I don't wanna be messing with my emails, constantly checking for requests and then going to the um, person's profile to you know look at their review history, look at their pictures, just try to find any reason why I wouldn't want to accept them. I just trust that the websites I'm doing business with are vetting them already. And the other part of doing the instant book feature is it does set you apart from the other hosts in your area. So check out this video. Go to airbnb.com and I'm gonna type in my location of my Airbnb. I'll let that load and then I'm just gonna not mess with checkout dates, check-in dates, number of guests or anything like that. And I'm just gonna let it load to see how many places are available. Over here on the left, you'll see there are 340 places, and that could be just about anything from single rooms to cabins to houses to tiny homes, yurts, whatever else is out there, that's out there. So it just captures everything. I'm then gonna scroll over here to the filter section because the only thing I wanna change in this filter section is I just wanna change it from uh, listings you can book without waiting for host approval. So I wanna turn that feature on. So I'm turning on the instant uh, booking feature and then I'm going to hit show to see how many places we have available. As that loads we're going to see I now have 198 places. So that's 340 places down to 198 places so I've slashed nearly 150 hosts that I'm competing against just by auto accepting any booking that comes my way. I've eliminated like 40% of the competition. So that's why I use it. It's another reason it just sets you apart from the other, uh, the other hosts out there. That's why we do it. Because by allowing instant book features, I um, save a lot of my own time. And I also set myself apart from the other hosts in the area that do not accept those instant bookings. It's a win-win for everybody involved. The guests get their place immediately. I get a booking that's very hassle-free. And so far, it's every single place has worked out for me. And um, I'm gonna continue to use it. And as a guest, any Airbnb that I'm booking, I'm only going to go through instant booking as well. So that's why I do it. You can do it your way. I do it my way. It seems to be working. But that's it for me. If you'll do all the fun things that you're supposed to do on YouTube, like like, comment, subscribe, share, and come on back because we're going to talk about other things soon. And um, if you have anything that you want to know about, just leave it in the comments and I'll make a video about it. So until then, have a good one.